Welcome back to Chemistry Made Easy with Bright Edo. In today's video lesson, I'll be teaching about one of the colligative property, and it is called elevation of boiling point. Now, elevation of boiling point is otherwise called ebulliometry. Okay, elevation of boiling point is otherwise called ebulliometry. And there are some important formulas that must be noted when solving problems under this aspect. And what is the formula? It's simply delta C, which is the change in temperature, is equal to Kb times M. Now the question you ask yourself, what is Kb? Kb is called a bolometric constant. Okay, it is a constant, a bolometric constant. Or you say the molar boiling point elevation constant, whereby the small m it is basically called molality, and molality is a concentration unit. It is called molality, but if it's capital letter M, it will be called molarity. Now, delta T is BP of solution minus the BP of solvent. Now, what is BP? It is basically called boiling point. Okay? It is called the boiling point. And recall, what is the formula for solving molality? Molality is simply mass of solute, okay? Mass of solute times 1000 over the molar mass, over the molar mass of solute times mass of solvent times mass of solvent. This is the formula for solving molality. Now, bringing this formula into this equation, delta T becomes the Kb, which is Kb times molality, which is this formula. So it becomes mass of solute times 1000 divided molar mass of solute times mass of solvent. So in solving problem on the elevation of boiling point, this formula is very important. Now let's quickly move over to the first question. The question says, at what temperature will a 0 0.5 molar? Now you can see this is molar. It is molality. So basically we simply write M to be 0 0.15, okay, which is molality. At what temperature will a 0 0.15 molar solution of sugar? in water boils when the pressure is 1 atm kb of water which is called the ebullometric constant of water equals 0 0.51 so what are they asking us to get they are saying at what temperature so first we calculate for the delta t for the delta t but they are specific at what temperature will a 0 0.15 molar solution so they are asking us to get the boiling point of the solution Okay, so basically let's determine the delta T. But in this context, we are to use this first equation because the molality is already given, which is the M. The molality is already given, which is 0 0.15. So basically the Kb constant of water is um, 0 0.51. So delta T becomes Kb times M. The Kb is 0 0.51 times M, which is 0 0.15. So delta T becomes 0 0.077 degree Celsius. But they are specific. At what temperature will a 0 0.15 molar solution? So they're asking us to get this. So bringing this equation, delta T will not be equal to 
the boiling point of solution, which we are asked to determine of solution, minus the boiling point of solvent. Now, what is the solvent? The solvent is water. And water, pure water, boils at 100 degrees Celsius. So, the solvent here is water. And pure water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. So, the value for the boiling point of water or boiling point of solvent becomes 100. And we are asked to determine the boiling point of solution. And we've gotten the delta T. So, basically, we simply make this subject of formula. So, BP of solution will now be equal to delta T. Moving this becomes positive boiling point of, solution, of solvent. So, boiling point of solution becomes the delta T, which we've determined here to be 0 0.077 degrees Celsius. So, it becomes 0 0.077 degrees Celsius plus boiling point of water, which 100 degree Celsius. So, what will be the boiling point of solution as asked in the question? It becomes 100.077 degree Celsius. So, basically, this is how to solve problems under the elevation of boiling point. Now, let's quickly move over to question two. Now, let's quickly move over to the next question. The question says, a solution made by dissolving 10 grams of an unknown compound in 100 grams of water boiled at 100.45 degrees Celsius, what is the molar mass of the compound? So they are asking us to determine the molar mass of the compound. First, which formula is best to be used? Now, in this context, we are not giving the uh, we're not giving the molality. So basically, we use this equation to get the molar mass of the solute. So we quickly bring out this equation. Now, the equation is simply delta T is equal to Kb times mass of solute. times 1000 dividing the molar mass of solute times the mass of solvent. Now they are asking us to get the molar mass of the compound, that's of the solute. So we simply make, make this subject so it becomes molar mass of solute which is the molar mass of the compound is equal to the kb times mass of solute times 1000 dividing delta t times mass of solvent now first we need to bring out the parameters we need to bring out the parameter. Now, the Kb of water is given to be 0 0.51. That is the value for the Kb. Now, what is the mass of the solute? What is the mass of the solute? The solute is 10 grams. This is the mass of the solute. What is the delta T value? Recall, delta T is calculated by saying the boiling point of solution minus the boiling point of solvent. Delta T becomes, the boiling point of solution is given to be 100.45 degrees Celsius. So this is 100.45 degrees Celsius. And the boiling point of solvent, so in this context, the solvent is water. So the boiling point of solvent it becomes 100 degrees Celsius. So delta T becomes 0 0.45. Okay, now what is the mass of the solvent? The solvent here is 100 grams. So basically that is the mass of the solvent, 100 grams. Okay, mass of solvent. So it 
quickly impute parameter. So the molar mass of the solute becomes the molar mass of the solute becomes the KB, which is 0 0.51 times the mass of solute, which is 10 grams times 1000 over the delta T, which is 0 0.45 times the mass of solvent, which is 100 grams. So when we impute this into the capital, the mass of the solute becomes 113.3 grams per mole. So this is how to solve problems on the elevation of boiling point under the colligative property. And remember, colligative property, there are sets of physical properties of a solution that depends on the number of particles and not the nature of the particle. If you've not yet subscribed to this channel, do well to hit the subscribe button and also share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching.